Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence Plays where we're playing Manhunt Checkpoint and we've gone back to one of the older um, locating systems uh, for this for this run. So for anyone who hasn't watched one of these before, the idea behind the game is that there will be a series of checkpoints appearing around the city and I have to go and, and, and I have to go and try and collect them without lunatics like the one who just drove through that street lamp behind me. Um, or oh, was ahead of me then, but behind me now, um, finding me. He's gone out onto the pier by the looks of it, which is an interesting way to go, except, I, well, granted, I've just come from there, but it's still an odd place different to go. So, um, yes, they, they, they are trying to stop me, but they will do that by trying to hunt me down and kill me. There's four of them today. We've got Tristan in purple, we've got Mike in orange, we've got um, Mark in pale green, and we've got Pete in dark green. So that was a bright purple car, so that must be Tristan. And you'll get you'll you'll see the hunters' cars pop up from time to time as they as they try and find me. And to make it a little bit easier for them to try and find me, we have a system that shows a circle on their um, on their maps, and they know that I'm always somewhere inside that circle. Because if I ever get to the edge of it, the circle will jump so that I'm still somewhere inside it. And the idea of this is it, it makes it'll make it a little bit easier for them because the city is a big old place, so it's not real it's not realistic for them to have to try and search the entire city. But they do need to, so they need some sort of clue to try and find me. But we don't want to make it too easy for them. So we um, we give them that little bit of a clue with the with the, um, the with the circle on the map, and they can use that to try and find me. So my first checkpoint is over in uh, Doc's entrance, which is blooming miles away. It's about as far away as you can get and still be in the city. So it's going to take me a while to get there. So I'm going to use the motorways and try and drive at an appropriate motorway speed. Now there are a couple of options for motorways. You can either just bimble along them gently and wander and, and hope the hunters don't notice that you're clearly following a motorway. Or you can get onto the motorway and then absolutely floor it with the, with the idea of being that you try and get across the city as quickly as possible and then get off the motorway before they find you, before they realise what you're doing and come and find you. Um, I'm going, obviously going for the former at the moment um, in the hope that they'll just sort of think that because I'm going relatively slowly I'm probably not on the motorway because if I was on the motorway I'd be going a lot quicker that's the theory I don't know how well it's going to work so I'll now cut, take, take this one if I take this motorway all the way down to the ghetto I'm not going to take the big bridge across even though that would drop me more or less on the checkpoint because if I do take that it makes it pretty obvious where I'm trying to get to so I think that's a bad call instead I'm going to sort of just generally Follow the motorway, get 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 down to the sort of the ghetto area, and then head cross country from there and see how that goes. Put the lane change there to get behind the car that's moving a little bit faster because this is a horrifically slow speed. <clears throat> so yes, I hope you'll uh, you'll excuse me for driving slowly for the time being. What was no, no, that's that road? I need to be up here in order to get up onto that that to, to, to take the next right turn and then go across the top of the ghetto. That'll, that'll, actually, I could follow this all the way over to the industrial area. That might be slightly better actually. Um, hmm, I'm not sure. Oop, there's shooting happening behind me. That's good news because that means the hunters think they think they might have found me, and they haven't found me, which means they're wasting their time on somebody that isn't me, and that's what I like to see from this. We have had a bit of a rule change for this run, as well as having the uh, the old style of um, of prey location. We've changed the rules a little bit, so we're saying that now when the um, when the hunters, sorry, when the, when the prey wants to take a checkpoint, they have to be stationary in the checkpoint when they take it. Previously, we've said that you can take it at any speed you want as long as you're not in a chase. But instead of that, we're now saying you can take it in a chase if you want, but you have to be stationary. So that means if, if I'm being chased by a, a horde of ravening hunters, then I can slam on the brake, stop in a checkpoint and grab it. But if I do that, they'll be all over me and things will probably go badly to you. So it's probably not what I want to do, but it's an option that's there if I want. But in exchange for that, to make things a little bit harder for me, as you know, isn't it? Uh, I get the advantage of, of, of not having to wait until I'm out of a chase, but the disadvantage of having to be um, having to be stationary. So the balance, yeah, it's a sort of a balancing thing. Um, we t t take with one hand give, and uh, give with the other. So I'm getting fairly close to the checkpoint now. And the problem is. That means the hunters know roughly well. They, the hunters know where I am, roughly. So they probably, and they know where all of the checkpoints are in general. So all the ones that appear on the map, like ever. Which is why I've now sped up a bit. Because my theory is, if I get over there quickly now, while they're hopefully still messing around over in the ghetto on the other side of the storm drain and the bridge, I can get down there, grab the checkpoint, and then skedaddle over, perhaps onto Elysian Island, perhaps turn around and head back north again. There's nobody behind me. Right. I mean, I say speed down here. I'm in a Durango. It's not exactly the fastest car. There we go. Stationary. Grab the... 
Okay. <laughs> so, the reason I got out of my vehicle there is because we have a system that we call checkpoint effects. Um, and those are there to add a little bit more comedy, unpredictableness, weirdness, and that sort of thing to the game. And so that means that when I take a checkpoint, there's a roughly 50% chance that something silly will happen. In this particular case, the silly thing that happened was that there's a hunter there, you can tell he's purple. He's also a little bit too a little bit too interested in my car, so I'm gonna get out of here. Um What was I saying? Yes, yeah, so something silly will happen. In this case, the silly thing that happened was that everybody got out of their cars. Um, players, I think possibly AIs, although I admit I'm not 100% certain about that, but certainly all the players get out of their cars, and I um, and so that meant, um, well, I, as you saw, I, I climbed out of mine, but because I was stationary at the time, that was not too much of an issue for me. Um, for Mike, on the other hand, who was clearly doing about Mac 3 when it happened, it was comically fatal and I'm now heading down into a into the docks where there's no way out this is an incredibly bad idea this isn't where I meant to go at all I hate Elysian Island have I mentioned that I hate Elysian Island recently okay Tristan's come to a stop he's gonna try and intercept me that's fine you can do that I'm now gonna try and find another way out of here like this and just see see where I, see if I can get out of here again oh there, oh dear, there comes there's Mark ahead of me he's also in a Durango maybe you can intercept Tristan no he missed Tristan that's a shame <laughs> would have been rather useful if there'd been some uh, an, an, un, an unfortunateness between the hunters, should we say, but that was not to be. So I'm going to escape down this railway line here. Now, in the interest of keeping the um, the distances I have to travel absolutely ridiculous and enormous, my next checkpoint is the Hills Crossroads. <clears throat> That's blooming miles away. Basically, the, once again, I've got to cross the entire city in order to get the next checkpoint. So, I mean, I'm in a chase now, which means... Um, means I don't need to worry about my speed so much and, and looking suspicious because well Tristan's right behind me so the hunters know exactly where I am so I'm yes yeah, so there's no um, there's no there's no point in me trying to do anything to appear stealthy because Tristan has spotted me I'm not quite sure what gave me away it was probably just the fact that it was a vaguely usable car heading up away from the checkpoint and so he was just checking everything and one thing I've discovered is that it's very very hard indeed to react convincingly when a hunter rams your car. Uh, to, and by convincingly, I mean in the way that an AI would. Ooh, over there. <laughs> oh, ooh, that was nearly perfect. As jumpy, rolly nonsenses go. Thank you. I'll go this way then. Um, it flipped and flipped and very nearly landed on its wheels, and then it just completely and utterly didn't. So, yeah, bit of a sad face there. <laughs> oh well. Right, so now I'm in the storm drain, which is a thing. Uh, oh dear. That's a, <laughs> oh, phew, I missed that sticky out. Oh, no, there isn't a way through there. I thought there was. Um, I missed that random sticky out piece of rail, so that's good. But I've still got two of the hunters right on my tail. Let's, I said let's go through the fence here. Um, the car apparently had other ideas. Um, <laughs> let's try that again. Is there a way out here? Yes, there is. This takes me out onto the road. Fantastic. Uh, road is probably a good, woo, probably a good thing. I don't know. Ooh, the hunters have had some sort of, they've come some kind of cropper. Let's turn the circle off then, and that means that the, the hunters now don't have don't have the the, the added clue from the circle, the, the information from the circle, telling them basically where I've gone. However, if I come off road and start driving driving around on the on the grass like this, it's going to make me kind of obvious as to county. But I think. That was it. I needed to do a change of direction because the hunters weren't all that far behind me. Yeah, there's one of them. There's Mark. Mark is still with me, uh, which is a shame. But you know, we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. Let's go. Can I go off it? Oh yeah, I should. have... Damn it. I should have done something other than what I did there. That's what I'm trying to say. And I'm not saying it particularly eloquently, but the hunters will probably expect me to have taken one of the weird jumps. Oh no, no, Mark is still there. He's still with me. Okay, I need to do. Something a little bit cleverer than that, by the, by the looks of it. Dropping off here is a neat trick, um, especially if they go off it too quickly. Maybe if I go up here, this is this is where a way I sometimes go and sometimes come a cropper. But if I go do it a little bit more slowly like that, then maybe I can then sneak down here and have disappeared before they come around the before they come around the corner. Of course, if I drive into Bloom and everything, it's not going to help. Um, isn't this? No, it's the next one. 
this this exit here. Right. I couldn't look back and take this exit. So let's come up here and then see if anyone's still following me. No, I think that cunning f burst of corners and shenaniganery has got me away from them. Right, okay. I need a different car because this one is both damaged and recognised. So we'll take this one. It's unlocked. That's excellent. It is a Premier, which is a bit of a downside. But currently I'll, I will happily take an unlocked vehicle over a locked one. Okay, I'm being investigated. Uh, this is not good. Let's try and get out of here now. He's going to try and... Eat. <laughs> okay, so unfortunately, escaping by going down that tunnel, through that tunnel and up there is a thing I have done in the past. So Tristan knew that, so he went in there to check, which is kind of unfortunate. How however... There's a small chance that a Premier might be slightly faster than a Durango. Uh, actually, he's not in a Durango. He's in some kind of... I don't know. It's another SUV, anyway. But there's a chance I might have a bit of top end on him. Um, it's a relatively small chance, because SUVs do tend to be fairly powerful. So this probably isn't going to work. I'm going to need to stick with a bit of cornering, just to sort of try and lose them. Maybe like that. That went less well than I hoped. Get out of the way! Coming through! <laughs> Yeah, he's still right there. Takes the corner. And I don't want to go into the... I'm sure there's another way out of the construction yard, but I don't know where it is, so I don't want to go in there. Because things will go badly. Now, round here, though, there are there is a series of... If I go up here and then turn right and head out towards the highway, there's an oracle there that I can sort of sneak around like that. And if I go up here, then there is a series of jumps. And depending on which of those I take... He may or may not be able to follow me around them. We'll see how he does with that. So we'll probably see another that SUV. Oh no, I was expecting to see him dropping off the off the top there, but I I haven't. So maybe that's got me away. If so, I'm quite pleased with that. Maybe he didn't have quite enough speed to pull that one off. Oh no, there's a mark as well. <laughs> Heck, <laughs> and nearly went that way. I mean, I, I lost one of them, but unfortunately, the hunters have this bad habit of doing. What I think I'd like, what I like to call communicating. So occasionally they'll actually talk to each other, and um, and say and let each other know where I've gone. And now now I've got three of them behind me again. So um, this is not going so well. I mean it's it's a good chase. I'll I'll give it that. We're having we're having um, having lots of fun. We're having a nice chase and um, hooning around all over the city like a bunch of lunatics. But it would be quite nice to actually get away from them and be able to then try and get another checkpoint. Now I suppose actually given the new rule set, I could head up towards the checkpoint and try and take it by just slamming on the brakes in the middle of it. Um, let's turn the circle back on again. There we go. Um, I'm not sure if I'm out of the chase yet, but I think I might. I think I might be, which is part of the reason. Oh no, there's there's a mic there. He's still he's still following me, but he's quite a distance behind. So perhaps if I pull some alleyway shenanigans like this, he's not going to be able to keep up, or he's just not going to have a clue what I've done. Fingers crossed. I just keep heading out this way. Is he behind me still? Let's pretend to be an AI for a moment. Operation pretend to be an AI going okay, but I've probably beaten up that car quite a bit. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's a bit beaten up, so if they, if they got a good look at it, they'd know that it was me. Okay, right, I'm now... So, yes, we have a rule in the game that the hunters aren't allowed to drive a class of vehicle until they've seen me driving it. So I am now in a coupe, which means if they see me, if they see me in this car and they identify it, and they identify me, they are then allowed to also drive coupes. Unfortunately, this is an Oracle, which is, um, I will happily admit, the worst of the coupes. So the fact that I'm driving this, if they see me in it, then they're all going to turn up in F620s and felons and things, and that's going to put me at a bit of a disadvantage. So it's not a great choice of car for that reason. However. It's probably, even as, as a coupe, even though it's the worst of the coupes, as I said, it might still have a bit of an advantage over their um, fleet of SUVs, Durang their sort of Durangos and their whatever that sort of GP thing that Tristan was driving is. Oop. Bump. Come on. I'm going to go... Oh! I'm not going to go around that car. 
I'm going to go around this one because it's trying to undertake me. <laughs> let's um, let's get up to the next checkpoint as quickly as possible. Take that and then just get out of here. So, stopped, taken, going. No silly effect that time. That's probably a good thing for the sake of my sanity. <laughs> I could upgrade to that Lamborghini, but I think going for a sports car is probably not going to go well for me. I am now heading up into the hills, which is not really a thing I want to do. Because, well, there's a number of reasons. The roads up here are much harder to drive around because they're, small, they're not generally narrower and more like, and, and twistier and generally more likely to cause me to come a cropper. So let's get back down again. Um, a little bit. Like this. Try and just head back down into the city. And then try and find a different car as well. Because, as I said, the Oracle is not a great one to have for a couple of reasons. Now, the thing I need to be careful of is not to do this sort of thing too quickly. Because I did this once before. I managed to land my car upside down. I was right, it was right at the end of a run. And I, I, I tried to escape by jumping off a cliff like that. I ended up falling and my, uh, landing my car upside down. And it exploded. And I lost, even though I practically virtually won at that point. So, I'm going to be careful not to tr 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 try to avoid that happening again. Right, how are we doing? So, Casino Bridge, that's quite close. That's an easy, good, good, easy one to get from here. So this makes a nice change. It's not a, it's not a run across the entire blooming city this time. So that makes a nice change. And I think getting it from this direction is quite a good way to do so. So, head over this way, turn right at the end, drop down that way, grab the checkpoint, and then skedaddle. I think that's my, that's my plan. Oh, there's that. That's Mark behind me in the pale green. So there are the hunters are in the in the um, in the area in the vicinity. I just need to try and avoid them for long enough to get all of the checkpoints. Now, at some point, I might consider upgrading to a sports car, but I'm kind of resisting that one a bit at the moment because if I use, as I said earlier, they can't use a car, a type of car, until I have, apart from the basic ones, of course, because they need something to, at the start of the game. So if I use a sports car they will start using sports cars and it just raises the stakes quite a lot it's, it means that chases get it makes it a bit they can get around the city faster but I can't if I'm trying to play it stealthy I still have to go at traffic speeds even if I'm in a sports car there's Tristan again oh dear has he seen me Yeah, okay, I think he has identified me. Um, probably because he probably saw my uh, player model earlier um, in one of the earlier chases, and therefore he was just driving around the city so investigating cars that were, granted, in the right sort of area and perhaps looked a little bit suspicious, but just looking for man in suit. And if he found man in suit, then there's a pretty good chance it's actually me. And, well, in this particular case, that has turned out to be the case. He found man in suit, and indeed he found me so i'm gonna i'm gonna try the new rule thing and i'm gonna make it since i've got a bit of gap here i'm gonna make a bid for this uh checkpoint stamp on the anchors take the checkpoint and then try and get out of here what was that oh it's a tugboat that's convenient so the tugboat is obviously one of the checkpoint effects and uh, the idea is that having a tugboat drop in basically in the middle of a chase He's bound to cause a little bit of mayhem and confusion among the hunters and me, just just in general. So I think it did quite well there. Um, I suspect that's thrown them off a little bit. I'm going to once again head down this way, follow the um, highway along here, and let's see. Well, I seem to have lost them. That means I want to get off the highway now, if I possibly can. Um, I think I can do so oop, here by pulling a sharp right turn like that and just climbing out here but ideally round the trees rather than through them you know it's a little bit of an advantage a better slightly better if i can do that around. okay so origin isn't far away it's just up here that's a, that's is that a sports car no, that's a supercar i can't take that so supercars i mean I, i'm allowed to drive a supercar if i want they're that's fine but the old rule that in in the game st still stands that if i take a checkpoint and or if I, I can't actually take a checkpoint from a supercar even though I, I can use one to get to a, a checkpoint but I can't then take the checkpoint stop checkpoint go the car gets turned round because that's another checkpoint effect let's um just sort of follow this innocently away from here there is a white car there that looks a bit confused I think that's just one that's got turned round by the um the general let's do weird things to that was Pete Pete was not paying very much attention 
that's that's appreciated. Thank you, Pete. Um, <laughs> I do want to change out to this red oracle, though. It's both obvious because I've been driving it; they've seen me in it, and kind of um, it, na damaged, so it's a bit suspicious. Okay, this is a supercar, so I can't take any checkpoints in this. And if the hunters see me in it, things are very, very bad for me um, because they will then have supercars unlocked for them and I really don't want that so I need to find before they spot me I need to find something else ideally a sports car certainly it has to be at least a coupe because they've seen me in um, in a coupe so they're all going to be well they're probably I don't know maybe they'll all drive oracles but Mike has a, um, a pathological hatred for oracles for some reason um, I think because I used to use them quite a lot and it's become a, it's become a bit of a running joke that Lawrence always drives an oracle um, Okay, they're not suspicious of this car because it's a Lambo, and I obviously wouldn't drive a Lambo because I don't want it. I wouldn't be able to take checkpoints and stuff. So there's obviously that fire engine is clearly one of the hunts as well. There's some messing around going on over there. I'm not quite sure what's going on, but they seem to be. Oh, I'm not sure what's going on over there. However, I have a plan. Life Invader is the final checkpoint. You can tell because there's a checkered flag as its icon, um, and because it's the fifth one. My theory is if I can get over there without them identifying me, I can hop out of the car, grab the checkpoint, and then, then I've got a supercar to escape in. I don't know if this plan is actually going to work, but I think it has potential. My biggest worry is that we have a rather large queue of cars here, um, and Tristan is buzzing around over there, and he has already spotted what I look like. So this could be dangerous. But it could also be extremely effective. We'll see how it goes. Okay, the lights have gone red again, so I'm going to have to stop here in the queue. Don't move, don't bounce along too much like that, Lawrence. You'll just flash your brake lights, and then everyone will get really suspicious. Right. Um, is this a right turn? Uh, sorry, left turn only lane? I can't tell. I can't see the arrow. No, it's a straight on as well. Okay, so I could go straight on, which is the more obvious way to approach Life Invader from here. Um. Yeah, then hop out of the car, grab it, and get and run. I think that's probably the answer. That's what I want to do. And I think having the Lambo as a getaway vehicle for this is going to be extremely effective. However, trying to take the checkpoint is going to be extremely risky. But the approach might be a little bit less risky because they won't expect me to be in the Lambo. Because what kind of lunatic drives a Lambo when they can't take a checkpoint in it? This lunatic, clearly, but, you know, the, the theory stands. So I'm going to sneak over there, so you, just, you know, just obeying the traffic laws a little bit. Trying to stop at about the right place. <clears throat> Quick glance around. I don't see any hunters at the moment. So hopefully I'm safe on this on this approach. This is going, this is going well so far, actually. I just need, to keep, just need to keep my eyes peeled and just hope that nothing stupid happens. <laughs> there is... Something, some sort of shenaniganry happening in the next junction. I'm not sure what it is, but there is definitely something going on up here. The question is, can I get close enough to take the checkpoint without... Uh, okay. So I have to stop here because the lights are red. I don't see any hunters. Let's pull into the middle of the checkpoint. Hop out. Checkpoint. Hop in again. I've got a blue car, but... I mean, apart from being a an, an Eiffel 65 song, I don't think that's going to be a problem. So everybody is now going to be in, in this weird shade of blues. That's another one of the checkpoint effects. It's the everybody gets the blues, um, including me. And so the hunters will all be all now look identical. Actually, that's not quite true. They'll all have um, underglow. All fan have fancy underglow. So now we have uh, so we'll be able to tell them apart a little bit if they get too close. So now we have what we call the final hunt, um, and that's where. I have to prove that I'm no longer in that I'm not in, that I'm not in a chase and that I've got away from the hunters. And I do that by being more than a certain distance away from the hunters for a, a certain amount of time. And I'm not really doing that very smartly at the moment because I'm driving more or less in circles. When I, oh, there we go. We were, I, I've won. So the idea is after after a little while they will all explode and that is a victory for me. So that's been um, that's been a good run actually. We had some nice chases at the beginning and my palms are really sweaty so it must have been a good one. Um, but I actually managed to win it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll come along maybe next week when hopefully there'll be another another uh, another video for you to all enjoy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.
<laughs> he actually parked the Voltic. He, he does that. And I've never I understood know. why. It's parked in the pier, uh, the car park on the pier. Uh, no, I'm in the... Uh, ah, 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 take him. I was going quite fast. <laughs> <laughs> so how's life, Mike? All right, guys, I'm going to um, tactically teleport to... Where am I? To the top side of Pillbox Hill to catch him as he comes this way. Found him, and north of the docks entrance. Heading south towards the checkpoint. He's in a uh, Durango. The only colour it, it spawns in. Blue. I think with blue spots. Blue is black Heading spots. Heading west. Uh, west from that checkpoint now. On to Elysian Island. Crossing the train lines going further on into the dead end area. So he's either going to get the highway out. It's or not that one. Uh, is this, this might not be Elysian Island, actually. Uh, is it the island with Simeon's dock, like the Simeon vehicle delivery point on it? No. Are you west? Oh, we're yeah. coming back, uh, yeah. heading east. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's that's Elysian Island. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, it does. It says. He's heading back out now, onto the tr uh, train lines. Train lines towards docks entrance. If anyone's over at docks entrance, go to there I'm now. Waiting way there, but I got the recycling vehicle going away. <coughs> uh, taking the left away from docks entrance, so we're we're going to be under that main road in a moment, I think. That's where these train lines go. Yeah, we're under the gratings. Things. Heading where they come out. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I think by the storm drain. Where the storm drain forks. We're just heading along there. Cause he's going in a straight line because he's got no choice. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but it's still thematically on point then. Oh, how did I fail to cheap brains on that turn? Right, I'm entering Storm Drain to try bridge. And... So at the fork in the Storm Drains now. He's going into the Storm Drain. He's flipped it so have I. He's in Hold the it. Storm Drain, heading north because I pushed him. Ah! Approaching the north edge of the circle for the north south uh, distance. So in the left it. fork. I'm a pair behind you, but I do see you in the distance. Mm -hmm. Coming off on the right. On your left. Yep. Trying to go through a fence, but not hitting it hard enough. He's hit a... Uh, continuing north. You go right. Uh, oh, he's turned right. Yep. I didn't see where he went. I left. Oh. I just ran over a hobo and I feel bad. Uh, uh, one junk, one bridge south of the casino bridge. Uh, south on the grass from Dash End. On the oh, highway. Oh, right. Heading west. East west highway. Oh, I can't drive today. Either that or this car's rubbish. This car's rubbish. To the west, going off the intersection where the jump is. And not taking the jump. So We're heading, heading south. south. 
taking the red car park jump? Uh, uh, the the site. North. Did he go into the construction site? Uh, no, uh, north to uh, art gallery. Yeah. Okay, I'll go west. No eyes. No. He came from this direction, so. Yeah, didn't see him this way. I spent a lot of time with that just so sort of seeing you all in the distance be like, wait for me! <laughs> and then I never got there. I may have him. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is him. Uh, white male, uh, come towards you, Mark. Into red car park now. South through red car park. Uh, in a suit. White male in a suit. Okay. Yep. Uh, turning left out of red car park, south side, heading east. Gotcha. Going north through dog leg. Or the south bit of dog leg. Straight through, north. British oh. Shopping Centre, heading north up the east side. Is it a coupe or a sedan? I think that's a sedan. Okay. Heading, it turned east uh, in line with the uh, Shopping Centre tunnel. Uh, turn south on the far side of the construction site. Left at Penrith. Left at the far side, north past Pillbox Hill, upper, right onto the highway. Taking the right of the fork. Taking the jump. Uh, flipping and... I don't see him. He, oh, I think he probably went down onto the highway itself. I don't oh, see him. him. Yep, uh, pillbox hill, a uh, jump. I ran into him. I'm blocking him. Loose down. Pillbox hill. Right at pillbox hill, heading south towards square squares. Yeah, Mike, this one. Uh, through pillbox hill tunnel, heading west. I helped. <laughs> the lie I did not Ah, oh, fuck. He's gone uh, up towards Arcadius. He's taken a... Where? Well, right, I think, towards Shopping Mall. I've lost him. I don't know how to say this. But there's a upside down, I think that's a fire engine. I think you figured out how to say it. Quite a lot of light going on. Not gonna lie. Sounds like a big problem. I'm just checking that nothing's downloading at the moment. This is a lot of cars. There is not. Might have nothing. Well, that's uh, west of the checkpoint and north of the road. So jump. You say you're starting to speed up? Yeah. Uh, red Oracle, I think. Uh, heading west towards you, Mike. That one. Oh, you that's him. <laughs> yeah, he accelerated a lot. T turn south towards Vinewood Boulevard, east towards the checkpoint. This means coupes are unlocked, right? Pete! Just done. Jeffrey! Is that him in the distance? Check one take. North. Uh, onto the highway. the highway. 
Defense heading south. Close. Coming off at dash end. Eight. Hey Pete. Hey, eight. <laughs> I didn't see him here. I'm I'm heading down onto the east-west highway, heading west. Which yeah, looks like it probably. I'm. Right yeah, I'm doing same. I don't see him. By south of the north south highway. I haven't done that. Okay, I'll do that. Why is it when I try to take something that I think is an oracle, it turns out to be a premier? I took something I thought was an oracle, and unfortunately it's an oracle. There's a fire engine driving around. In a somewhat janky manner. Are there uh, firemen on the back of it? No, there's a dead fireman inside it. Well, I think he's won this one, lads. Ammo! Congrats! GG!